The next thing I'd like to show you is a couple of different ways that you can reuse these tools. It's very possible that the type of jobs that you do, that you use the same basic tool set all the time. So rather than recreate these tools, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to reuse the tools from this job. And to do that, we're going to start by doing File New. So I'm in a brand new job right now, and what I can do is go to my Tool Paths, Tool Manager, and again, we can see that there's nothing in the current active tool list, and down here, our mill inch tool database is the active library. Well, I can use this to select a different tool library, and when I click on that, we'll see that there's a bunch of tool libraries here to choose from. But in this case, I don't actually want to pick the tools from this library. I want to pick them from that other Mastercam file. So what I'm going to do is go to the My MCAM X7 folder, and I'm going to go to wherever I saved that file, which in my case is the MCX Tool Manager folder. Now, it's still looking for a tool DB type file. It's looking for tool libraries. What I'm going to do is go to this pull down and tell it to look for all files. And now I'm going to pick my part file. And when I do that, we'll see that the list contains all the tools from that job. So I can pick any individual tool or I can pick all the tools. Once I select the tools I want, I can just hold down my left mouse button over the top, drag it up here, and drop it. Now I'm going to get that warning again about a similar tool having two half-inch flat end mills. We'll just say OK to that, and there's my tools. Same tools in the same order with the same specifications. So. This is really handy when you've already customized a tool in a particular job and you know you need to bring in that particular tool for this next job. So I didn't have to bring in all of these tools. I could just bring in the one tool that I customized. So that's an easy way of reusing customized tools.